forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. We are on our way down to Stillwater, Minnesota to Stillwater Equine to go pick up Prince who went down there for his castration. Now he had to go down there because he is a crypto orchid stallion. So he ended up having to have an actual surgery to get the one undescended testicle out. So now we are going to pick him up. Terry Arneson at the Stillwater Equine Veterinary Clinic in Stillwater, Minnesota. And this is Prince behind me, two-year-old Pertron, was a stallion. <coughs> and he had one retained testicle in his abdomen. So that's called a crypt orchid, when one testicle was down and one testicle was up. So what we did is we anesthetized him in our surgery room, laid him down, put him on a surgery table, on his back, and then we removed the down testicle and then we explored for the other testicle and we could not find it in what's called the inguinal ring so it wasn't external so then we made an incision into the abdomen and reached in just with several fingers reached in able to locate the testicle removed pulled it out used what we call an emasculator to remove the testicle and then sutured up the belly wall and sutured the skin so you can see this, that was just 24 hours ago, and he looks none the worse for the surgery. So he's doing very well. Very minimal swelling, and he's doing fine. Now what's the recovery time on a surgery like this? When we have to go into the abdomen, we make an incision in the abdomen. You have to keep him in a stall for a month for that incision to heal so he doesn't pull his stitches out. So be, he'll be in stall rest for a month. Okay. If we can find the testicle and we can pull it out and remove it without making an incision in the abdomen, then they can go out and be turned out and exercise. But he needs stall rest for a month. Okay, and is this pretty common in horses? It is common in horses. It's one of the most common surgeries we do, is crypt orchid surgery. So we see a lot of these and we have to go in and find the testicle. They can be in various places, either just outside the inguinal ring or just inside the inguinal ring in the abdomen. And now Leonard was saying that there's only like two places in Minnesota that even do this type of surgery? Well, yes, there's only a couple of surgical facilities in Minnesota. Yes, the university and ourselves and a couple other clinics too. Okay. Yes. That's just because it's more of a difficult thing or? There's not a lot of caseloads. So there's, we get horses from all over from several states. So there's just not a lot of caseload for surgical facilities. So there's a couple and we do quite a bit of surgery here. That's one of our niches. Yeah. We get a lot of people that even though that they we suspected with him just having the one descended testicle, they were still suggesting that he could be used as a stallion. I mean, even his sire was the same way. Would you recommend that or would you not recommend? No, no. because you said the key thing is that his stallion, his dad, was the same way. It's a genetic. It can be passed on in the genetics. So we do not recommend crypt orchids one with one testicle down be bred. They are fertile. They can settle mares. But they can pass on this trait. So then everyone that buys one has okay. it, the and surgery keep us fit. Busy. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to explain that yeah, stuff. So, welcome. very good. Nice horse. Oh, he's built so nice. I should get a comparison from last year. Look, you even have a show pose going on here, bud. Really graying out though. You can see it on camera now more too. Yeah. 
that's fine. So, made it home. Wait, be gay. Oh, he's got drainage. Here you are. His home for the next month. Yep. Funny how calm he is here compared to what he was down there. Yes. You know, here he's just like normal down there. He was just rip snorting oh, old stubbles. Yeah. Jump around him. He didn't seem like he think he he would swell. You yeah. Know, you're supposed to exercise him after the gelding, but with this surgery, you can't exercise him for a month. Yeah. But he said he probably won't swell. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he seems calm. Hungry and calm and give him some water. So what was your decision in castrating him versus leaving him as a stallion? Because you had a lot of people that were interested in him. Yeah, well, it's a hereditary thing that shouldn't be passed on. And I guess I originally bought him for a gelding in the first place. The final, what was the damage? Seventeen thirty-three. Yeah, that's a. That's a that's pretty. Good. There's a pretty expensive motel, one hundred twenty-eight dollars for one <laughs> day's. <laughs> well, no, that's probably about regular yeah. motel, ain't it? <laughs> a nice one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like the best western. <laughs> we paid a hundred dollars night for that one at Chatfield. We got there at two in the morning, up to six. <laughs> Charged us hundred dollars. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm glad to see he's all nice and calm. Yeah. Yeah, cause there's no. They don't even want him to roll. Yeah, I gotta make sure I keep him brushed so he doesn't get itchy. You gonna take him out at all and just like walk him at all or well he said you could but it didn't really sound like you needed to yeah he's got room in there to move too yeah. but not enough to get in trouble well they can all get in trouble yeah that's true enough so how long then till like all the study behavior is usually out of there i don't know oh. i would guess a month or better. Yeah. I would think. Oh, I should say. So the vet sent you a picture of the testicles. Yes, he did. And there was a major size difference between them. Yes. The one was like a large potato and the other one was like the size of a walnut. So the vet had to go up in the abdomen and try and find a walnut up in there. That's, that's impressive. Yeah, definitely not just a quick little no. Backyard, back alley vet's going to be able to do it. <laughs> nope. He said that wasn't coming down ever. There was no way that was coming down. So, looks like we got ourselves a nice gelding. Yeah. Oh, he weighed uh, 1,465 pounds. 1,465. And how old is he? Uh, 20... About 21 months. Well, you really turned gray. I didn't, you know, you don't notice it. No, I didn't. I, didn't think it was I mean, I see him every day, and all of a sudden it's like he got grayer as yeah. when I got it. We got, we got him back here now. Yeah, you can really pick it up on camera now, where before you couldn't really see it. 
How long till he goes all gray? I guess they're different. Yeah? He could be white in 10 years or maybe take 20, I don't know. Yeah, gray from the procedure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if his weenie got any higher. <laughs> Well, it's nice that he's calm. Yeah, that, that makes me real happy. Yeah I, was, yeah, I was nervous on the way when you loaded him up when we was in the stall, how he was so jumpy, and I was like, yeah. oh my gosh, how are you going to keep him quiet for a month? He's a guy. He's a gelding now. He just keep food in front of him and maybe put a TV out here. <laughs> Stream some ESPN out here. Drink. Yeah. <laughs> A little beer in his water and a bag of chips. <laughs> He'll be a regular Al Bundy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Change the name to Al. <laughs> Actually, Jenny wants to call him the, the cult formerly known as Prince. <laughs> Just give him a symbol. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm glad he just 